Hi guys! Today I am going to show you guys how I get my curls. I can't tell you how many times I've been stopped on the side of the road just, is your hair natural? Are those curls natural? Is that a perm? And most people say, I actually have naturally curly hair but I straighten it because I can't get my curls to look like yours. So I think there are a lot of people out there that have naturally curly hair who just don't really know how to do it. So I've got some tips and tricks for you and the next time you see me, I will be fresh out of the shower. Okay, you guys, I am literally just out of the shower. I'm soaked, but I wanted to show you how I dry my hair out of the shower. So the first thing I did in the shower was I just kind of wrung my hair out like this. I get a little bit of hairs off, but I got all of that moisture off. Now I'm out of the shower because all I do, mistake number one for people with naturally curly hair is that they dry their hair too much to begin with. You do not want it dry before you hair dry it or blow dry it, okay? So I'm gonna flip my hair and I just give it one little ring, ring out, boop, like that. That's it. Don't wear your towel on your head while you do your makeup or, you know, like do this kind of thing. So the next thing I do is I brush it out and I'm using um, a wet brush right now, but I love these. So I'm just going to brush it out. So it should be pretty wet, but it shouldn't be sopping. Like water is not like spraying out here. So now it's time for some product. There's a couple of tricks here. The first one is I don't buy expensive products. I never have and you don't have to. So I'm just going to show you a couple things. Okay. So the first thing I like is this Aussie um, Headstrong Volume Mousse. And I love the L'Oreal Springing Curls mousse. But really, like that. any mousse. Um, this one is Cake, the Curl Whip. I like that. It's kind of heavy, like, though. Like a mousse mousse. Anyway, okay. Shake it up. Ooh. Okay. That's what I use. I, maybe that's a lot. I might even use a little more. Okay. So... I'm going to work it in my hair upside down. Working it into the hair. Doing a little bit of scrunching. You don't want to touch your hair too much right now. The, uh, the next thing I do is I use a non-aerosol hairspray. So right now I have an Aussie uh, scrunch hairspray, 24 hour curl lock. I don't really think it matters. I use the white rain, it's like 99 cents. So I'm just going to Spray some hairspray in my hand, rub it together, try not to let it go anywhere, and then work that in the hair. Okay? So, you want to keep your hairspray handy while you are going to blow dry your hair. And I will tell you why, because that is a huge secret on how to defrizz your curls. Okay? okay. So, I am using my beloved old, old. Revlon ceramic hair dryer. The old Revlon diffuser, okay? This is the only type of diffuser you can use. As you have to use a bowl diffuser with fingers or this technique does not work, okay? Now, big trick. Most people when they're blow drying their hair, they are doing this. Right? They're like scrunching. Don't scrunch. Don't touch your hair. Just let the hair dryer dry your hair. Do not touch it. Okay? So, I'm going to dry my hair. Flip your head over. I keep my head upside down the entire time. You will see me touch my hair a tiny bit. It's just to kind of move things around. I'm never scrunching um, and I'm never like putting my hands a lot in my hair. Okay? Also, it's on as hot as possible and as low airspeed as possible. You don't want a lot of wind um, blowing your hair around because that will create a lot more frizz and less defined curls too.
I might be about, I don't know, a quarter of the way dry. And I'm going to get my non-aerosol hairspray and I'm going to spray a layer. Don't scrunch it in. Just spray and then keep drying. So you might be seeing me kind of do this. I'm touching and feeling my hair. I don't want to add another layer of hairspray if it's still hard or I feel any like crunchiness to my hair. So you want to keep drying until you feel it's soft again and then that might be a sign to add another layer of the hairspray. So at layering the non-aerosol hairspray does not make it crunchy at the end. It just holds the curls in. Okay. Okay, so do you see how my curls are getting really defined, but it still kind of has a wet look to it? When I touch it, it kind of feels dry. And a lot of people might stop here and then let it air dry. That's not good. You have to keep drying. And I know it's like boring, but it's worth it. You'll see. So right now would be a good time that usually I would do another layer of the non-aerosol hairspray, but I'm really feeling my hair today and it, I think I got a really good um, layer in when I did it 25% of the way through. So I'm not going to add another layer and we'll see what happens. A little bit more drying. You see how I keep getting more, more and more volume as I dry it, and I'm really not touching it, not very much, just kind of moving it very slowly around, but um, I can still get some more volume, especially up here. It's, I'm going to keep going just a little bit.
Okay, I think I like it. It looks good. So I might flip my hair a little bit to see what happens um, and where my curls fall, but it feels really good. And I think the curls look really good, but this is one of those like curler bobby pins. I love them, the straight ones. These are my favorite, favorite. And I'll just kind of put my, so that my hair isn't like in my face all day. Um, and it also helps kind of keep the volume, but I open it up. Can you see that? I open it up and I go in and kind of twist it around, lock it back down. Get my big hair going. The volume yeah. does go down All right. um, a little bit. That's why I do the pinning up because it helps keep the volume up there. But yeah. Now I'm touching it a lot, but it's more for you to see how the curls are. Normally I don't uh, touch it so much because the more I touch it, even now, the frizzier it's good to get. Right? So um, again, I would normally... I'll probably do a little spray here. Just show you what I do. Once I get the clips in too, I'll spray it a little bit. Um, well, thank you for watching. I hope that helped and I'm excited to see your natural curls come out. Send me pictures.